it's Audrey. This video is going to be a beginner's tutorial on some basic knots that I think are really easy to learn so that you can create your own macrame decor. This tutorial isn't going to be on how to make a specific project, but rather the knots used in order to do so. So if that's something that you'd like to learn, then keep on watching. First of all are the materials that I prefer to use. You can use whatever type of cord or string that you like, but I will be using cotton cord for this tutorial because I find it a lot more forgiving if I mess up. Next are scissors to cut my cord with. And last, you'll just need a stick or dowel to hang your cord from. Now onto the instructions. I usually start with measuring out how long I'd like my project to be. I try to measure out a length about three or four times longer than what I imagine the final result to be and then cut double that length because each of those pieces are going to be folded in half once tied to the stick or dowel. Here I'm just taking an extra piece of cord and attaching it to the ends of my stick to create a handle so that I can hang my project on the wall. You can then take something heavy, I'm just using one of my plants, to hold the handle in place so that your stick doesn't move around too much while you're working. The first knot I'm going to show is called the Lark's Head Knot, and this knot I just use to attach my cord to the stick. I start by taking a piece of cord at its middle and then creating a loop. Then I take that loop and place it over the top of the stick and underneath. Once that's done, I then pull both tails of the cord through, which should look something like this, repeating with each cord until I kind of run out of space. The next knot that I'm going to share is called a vertical half hitch, and you're only going to use two cords for this knot. You'll start by taking the left cord and placing it over the right one, and then pulling the tail end underneath and through that loop you've just made. Again, really simple, just taking the left cord over the right, underneath and through. And if you keep repeating this knot vertically, it will eventually begin to spiral and end up looking like what you see here. The third knot that I'm showing here is called a half knot and you're gonna use a total of four cords for this one. You'll start with the cord farthest to the left and cross that over the other three. Then you'll place the cord to the very right over that one and then underneath the two middle cords and through and over the loop you've created on the left, pulling all the way to secure. Showing you again, I'm just taking that leftmost cord over the three to the right of it, placing the rightmost cord over that one, and then taking that same cord to the right underneath the middle two cords through and over the loop to the left. If you continue this knot vertically, it will eventually begin to spiral and end up looking like this. This last knot is called a square knot, and again you'll be using four cords in total to make it. This knot is pretty much exactly like the half knot as I'm showing here, so you're just repeating the same steps as before. Except once you're finished with one half knot, the next knot will be done on the opposite side. So you'll be crossing the rightmost cord over the three to the left this time, then taking the leftmost cord over that one and underneath the two middle cords to be pulled through and over the loop to the right. So exactly like the half knot, except you are creating knots by alternating the side that you start with as opposed to just one side. If you continue this knot vertically, you'll know that you're doing it correctly because it will stay completely flat and it won't spiral like the previous two knots. So those are the only knots I'm going to do for this tutorial, but I kind of also wanted to show what it should look like once you're comfortable connecting knots together in one project. I'm just going to be making a bunch of square knots so you can get an idea of what something like that would look like. Here I have eight cords and I'm going to start with two square knots with the middle four cords. Then I'm going to take the four cords on the right and make two square knots underneath that. And then do the same on the left side with the four leftmost cords. Like I said, this video is just me sharing the knots that I thought were the easiest to learn. Once I knew how to do these basic knots, I was able to make several different wall hangings and tapestries on my own. 
So hopefully this tutorial helps you out and allows you to get creative with macrame as a beginner. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye!